What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here, the Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 14,000 subs, I would really appreciate it. But in today's video, you've probably seen what the video is gonna be about. That's probably why you click today's video. Um, I am gonna be doing an unboxing from Carl's Bay and Tackle. I ordered a bunch of stuff this month off of Carl's Bait and Tackle. And I'm just gonna be showing you guys what I ordered and why I ordered it. Um, I got a bunch of goodies in here. I always love getting new baits, new lures or new line or anything fishing related. I love getting in the mail. It's just like Christmas every single day it feels like. And it is almost Christmas. So if you guys wanna get any of these lures, make sure to go check them out on Carl's Bait and Tackle. Today's video is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. And if you guys don't know what Shop Carl's is or Carl's Bait and Tackle, it is basically a website where you can get a ton of fishing deals. Some of the best deals on the internet is on Carl's Bait and Tackle. So what are you guys doing? Get over there and get the best deals that you can get in the fishing industry. But like I said, in today's video, I'm just gonna be doing a little unboxing, showing you guys what I got in the mail and the fishing around here has been pretty tough me and my dad have been going out a couple times and it is tough guys around here in the fall you don't catch a ton of fish but if you catch one it is usually a tank i know some guys out on lake st Clair that have been catching some straight monster small mouth six seven eight pounds even out there so also in northern michigan some guys are having like 32 or 36 pounds of smallmouth that is just wild in the fall that so those fish are really getting chunky getting super thick for the winter um but enough talking let's get inside and open up today's box well guys just got in the garage and here is my shop carl's box or my carl's bay and tackle whatever you want to call it same thing but this is what the box looks like it's pretty cool got Carl right there on the box it's pretty funny but just doing an unboxing for you showing you guys all the lures that I got got a bunch of goodies in here all kinds of stuff uh-oh <laughs> but first off I got a bunch of different swim baits and if you know me you know that I love going out on Lake St. Clair throwing big swim baits for big smallmouth bass and these are the four inch swim baits right here the bile spawn exo swim electric shad and i'm actually gonna get one out and show you i actually started throwing these ones back when me and georgia bass masters were out there bass fishing on lake st Clair, and we actually got a box from shop carl's to do a video on and we got these electric shad ones and he was throwing them and caught i think a four and a half pounder so that was super cool on this exact one right here i usually use the sexy shad color from bile spawn the bile spawn exo swims and like i said this one is just the electric shad it's done super good for me out on lake st Clair all summer long even in the springtime i smash some huge smallmouth bass on this i don't know if you guys watched my channel earlier this year out on lake st Clair, but i won some tournaments out on lake st Clair, catching complete monster smallmouth six pounders on these swim baits right here and if you guys want to get any of the baits that you see in today's video make sure to click the link in the description and use my link to order whatever you guys get but Next up is another color. This one is called Green Pumpkin Pearl. And I've actually caught a ton of fish on this one too. I'm, I might even throw a picture up here in the corner um, with these swim baits. But these Bile Spawn Exo Swims, they straight catch huge smallmouth out on St. Clair. I've even caught fish with them up north, um, largemouth bass. But these things are super good swim baits. I don't know what it is. If it's um, those rivets right there in the swim bait or the paddle tail. But the action on those swim baits are crazy. But here's another one. I got another Biospawn, the 3.25. 
I got this one in the electric shad, but it's just smaller than that four inch. So um, a lot of those small moths, sometimes they're not hitting the four inch. So if you go a little smaller, just that slight change and they will absolutely destroy it. But that's what we caught them on. Like I said, me and Georgia Bassmasters when we were, when he came up to fish with me from Georgia, um, I picked him up from the airport and we fished the weekend and I got him on some absolute tanks. So that was super cool. We filmed a couple cool videos together. So if you have not seen those, make sure to go check them out. Um, I'll leave them up here in the corner for you guys to click. If you guys want to see these swim baits in action, but got the swim baits in the box. Next up, if you guys have been watching the channel at all, you know that me and Blue Jays Outdoors, that's one of my good buddies, um, make sure to go subscribe to his channel. But he actually has been ordering a ton of Guggen Squad stuff. Um, using my code extreme. Like I said, if you guys want to get any of the ex Guggen Squad baits on GuggenSquad.com, make sure to use my code extreme. That helps me out. But I got a couple different click baits, the Guggen Squad click baits. That is the white one right there. I'm going to get it out and show you guys a close up of all these click baits because these things are crazy cool. Um, I've been catching fish on them all spring all summer all fall but check that out guys that click bait is just crazy good um it's got a big blade right there really creating a ton of wake in the water and if you guys know blue jays he is the pink master <laughs> but he actually hand dips these ones pink he buys the all white one and actually puts them in spike it dive I've watched him do it a couple times it's pretty neat but he's made me a couple pink ones and those pink ones straight up catch bass if you guys want to see why he did that i'm going to leave his videos up here in the corner if you guys want to go check those out but next up is the guggen squad clickbait the blue gale color and i'm pretty ex i'm pretty stoked to throw this one me and my dad are thinking about going down to Lake Okeechobee or a couple lakes down in Southern Florida um, to go for some big bass. And they love the bluegill color um, jackhammers or clickbaits. But right there is that one, the gold blade. I re I've done super good in the past with the gold bladed ones. And I really like this color. It does super good up here in the Midwest. I've caught a ton of fish on that one right there. But next up, you can't go wrong with black and blue. Um, I've caught a ton of fish on murky days with the black and blue. Usually that's the color that you want to throw. Black and blue and it's cloudy out, rainy out, just crappy conditions. I don't know what it is about the black and blue, but they absolutely smash it. But that one right there, I've done super good with in the past. Um, I really like the Guggen Squad clickbaits right there in the eye um, is the logo of Guggen Squad. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's got it on the blade right there too. But that one does really, really well around here. I usually throw a Havoc Pit Boss on the back as a trailer or a Bandito Bug, whatever creature bait usually gets the job done. So throwing those back in the box i usually try to keep all my baits super organized i got tackle boxes for all these so next up i've never really been a huge swim jig guy but my buddy blue jays he actually got a couple of these the other day and he has been catching some pretty big bass on the swim jig Check out all these swim jigs from Guggen Squad. I got a bunch of them. I'm just gonna quickly go over them and show you what they look like close ups again, just like I did with the clickbait. But first off is the Guggen Squad swim jig, the blue gal color. And that one looks pretty good. I'm probably gonna be throwing these down in Florida because I know a lot of those fish love swim jigs, but 
when they don't want the clickbait, throw the swim jig and they'll crush it. But that one looks pretty good. And then this one right here, I'm just gonna quickly go over these. I'm just showing you guys close up. So this one is called, I think, Rotten Pumpkin. This one is gonna catch some big ones, guys. It's got a green pumpkin head with red flake in it. If you guys can see that, it looks crazy good. But its skirt is like green pumpkin with orange in it, and that color always catches big fish. So that one right there looks really, really good. I'm pretty excited to throw that one. Usually on these swim jigs, you throw some type of swim bait on the back as a trailer and just reel it in super slow, I think. I haven't done a ton of swim jig fishing. I don't even know if I've caught a fish on a swim jig, to be honest with you. But these things are gonna catch fish, I'm telling you. Um, I've seen it in action already, but there is a black and blue one right there. It looks pretty good. Got the black and blue. And then also the white. And I honestly might make this one pink, just like Blue Jays does. So that one is pretty cool. Um, I thought it was pretty neat getting all these out and just ordering all these swim jigs. So I'm definitely gonna be giving those a try. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. Gonna catch some freaking monster bass on them, I think. But that pretty much wraps up today's video. Um, I really appreciate you guys stopping by and watching today's video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button down here in the corner of the screen. Really helps me out with the algorithm and, I, and everything here on YouTube. But, and we will see you in the next one. Stay tuned, guys.